A year-long manhunt for a Valley man accused of killing his girlfriend with a sword is finally over. Authorities say they pulled the killer's body from a river last year and just confirmed his identity through a DNA match last month. CBS 47's Joey Horta has reaction from the family of the victim in an Eyewitness News exclusive. It's been a little while. Together as a family, Catherine Cunningham's mother, sister, and grandparents walk into First Baptist Church in Winton. It's here where Catherine, like so many others, developed her faith. I believe that God is with her. This grieving mother, Jennifer Cunningham, is referring to the day when her 26 year old daughter was brutally murdered. Her body found on Comedo Island in Washington State. She was living there off the grid with her boyfriend, Jacob Gonzalez. Her family believes he snapped. I think she was trying to leave. Investigators say Gonzalez cut off her head. His DNA was found on the um, sword that killed her. DNA was key in both connecting him to the murder and then identifying his badly decomposed body. Authorities say Gonzalez drowned. He was pulled from the Feather River in Sutter County in April of 2018, but it would be another year before a DNA match would confirm his identity. Yeah, I think he took the easy way out. Emma Cunningham is Catherine's sister. They grew up together in this church, baptized in this very basin together, and went to school in Atwater. Emma even has two tattoos in memory of her sister. It says God is within her, she will not fall. Um, it's just kind of like a little reminder every day that, you know, you can still conquer things. And this one, complete with Tinkerbell, that reads, Those we love don't go away, they walk beside us every day. Now that Gonzalez is no longer a threat, the family can finally focus on grieving. It's closure, but it's not the closure we wanted. They want to know why he did it and to see him punished. And I don't think that's fair. Her family now trusting in a higher power that Catherine is in a better place. I think she's healing in heaven. All they can do now is try to move forward without her forever changed. In Winton, Joey Horta, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. And the Cunningham family told us they want to thank everyone who supported them through this process with tips to law enforcement and their prayers. Boy, oh boy, our thoughts are with the family. So brave of them to share their story with us. Uh, thank you very much. Uh,